Hi everyone, Darren from iLand Technology. Today I'm demonstrating the Dintec Easy Tool 90, which is a very clever tool designed to terminate and trim all four UTP pairs at once in a horizontal Easy Jack. There's also the Easy Tool 180 available for terminating vertical Easy Jacks in the same manner. We'll also need some side cutting pliers, cable strippers, and the Dintec Keystone Jack working base. The working base is a rather neat little device to hold a Keystone Jack in place while you're working on it. It has two slots for horizontal jacks and one for vertical jacks. Dintec Easy Jacks have the colour code displayed inside the jack. Today we're using the T568A standard, which is the standard we use in Australia. That's displayed in the centre two columns inside the jack. First we need to strip off some cable sheath. About 50mm is usually enough, but it doesn't matter if you strip off a bit more than that. Cut off the excess cord. Separate the wires and cut out the central spacer. Line the cable up in the jack. You want the edge of the cable sheath as close to the jack as possible. Pushing the pairs hard up against the post in between the two IDCs and then giving the wires a bit of a wiggle, we usually get them far enough apart to get down into the slots. Dintec Easy Jacks have points on the top of these posts too to make that job easier. You really want to avoid untwisting the wires inside the jack, especially with Cat6 and above cable. If you're having trouble getting a pair around the right way, you're better off putting another twist in rather than untwisting them inside the jack. Insert into the Easy Tool 90 and crimp. The final step is to put the cover on. Now these are quite important to prevent any of the wires coming loose as the cable gets moved around. And job done! For more information about Dintec's range including the Dintec Easy Tool 90 and the Easy Tool 180, please visit www.dintec.com.au or email us at sales at dintec.com.au. I'll also include links in the description below to all of the tools and products I just used. Don't forget to give us a like and click the subscribe button below and you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter under the Dintec Australia name. Thanks and bye for now.